A pipeline is wide open in Burleson tonight. It is not pumping oil or gas, but future engineers and computer programmers into higher education and the workforce. And they are doing it using video games. Wayne Carter is in the classroom at Burleson ISD's new game design school. What do you do when your child won't lift their head from a video game? How do you get them to learn? I'll say, oh yeah, you guys like to play this game. Let me show you how the, that game works. And you can add other things in that game that you might want in there. Burleson ISD's Game Design School is an entire physical building devoted to teaching students gaming and everything else on the curriculum, also using gaming. It's a combination of both math and your uh, normal learning language type thing because you have to learn how to do it and then you have to use math to create your correct physics and stuff like that. You get near the thwomps, they get angry, and then they move at you. Ren Eversall started class with a game he made. It had a problem. Transition. It was impossible to win. The monsters eat you before you can collect all the coins. So the students had to break open the code, figure out why, and fix it. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy. I'm not real good at the game, playing the game. <laughs> I'm, I'm not great at timing, honestly. <laughs> but you can code it. Oh yeah, but I can code it, which is weird. Olivia is the only girl here. Coding with her fancy nails is tough, as was holding her own with all the guys. They were like, you play games, what? You know, because like, you look at me, I'm like, they kind of were like, oh, I don't know about that. But they know now she's one of the best. Educators believe the students may be coding games today, but it sets the foundation to build power grids, code electronics, and companies are noticing what they're doing here in Burleson. They are looking for potential programmers to teach their programs how to open the landing gear up or detect things that are far away. So we actually participate at Lockheed Martin solving challenges that they give us. They graduate certified in coding, ready to work at places like Lockheed Martin. But it's not all coding here. Now I do more 3D modeling. Ethan Martin started taking gaming when this was just a class in his middle school. Yep, that's him, several years ago when we visited. Now, he's set to graduate from this high school where he fell in love with computer designing and the art of making games. I don't like working with my hands too much, but I knew I like working with computers and like I always liked animated stuff. An entire school that resembles one of the most high-tech companies here in Burleson, taking a kid's most basic love of something fun and helping them turn it into a career. Wayne Carter in the classroom for NBC5.